you are aware in the Atlas Copco Shanghai Trade Co Limited, this company is based in Stockholm, Sweden, with customers in more than 180 countries. Atlas Copco entered in China market in the 1920s. Let's welcome business line manager from Atlas Copco Shanghai Trade Co Limited, Rio Bai. Welcome. Please give us the introduction about yourself and your company. Okay, thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Ray uh, Bai. I'm from Atlas Copco. I'm now working as the business line manager for oil freight division in Atlas Copco. Um, you know, Atlas Copco is a Sweden company. We have four business areas. Uh, now, uh, what I'm working uh, is in compressor technique business area. So welcome today. Okay, thank you, Ray. That, uh, I got a few questions for you. The first one is, could you please give us a brief introduction about your company's participation theme this year and uh, what products do you bring this, this year and uh, what their advantages? Well, you know, today the show topic is intelligent manufacturing. So we have brought many series of Atlas products. You know, as I just said, Atlas Copco was founded in 1873. We have a history of uh, over 145 years already. We have many business areas, such as compressor, vacuum, industry tools, and so on. So in the past uh, 147 years, we have been continuously developed this product line and it is in the whole circle from R&D production to sales and marketing that we try to integrate intelligent manufacturing to bring sustainable value to various industries. Talking about the uh, product we bring to this show today, we have the most recent uh, updated G Plus oil injected screw compressor, ZS4 VSD oil free screw blower. OP 4.0 central control system and some other excellent products. Intelligent manufacturing, you can find almost in every product shown today, include its design, production and operations of these products. About uh, intelligent marketing, you know, uh, sorry about intelligence manufacturing. It is uh, the data, we, we call the big data that plays one of the most important role. So it is all about uh, how to collect, transmit, store and analyze the data to meet various demanding and fluctuating customer applications and bring the total ownership cost to the lowest possible level. So, you know, in Atoscopco, we equip one local intelligence system called Mark 5 together with one smart link platform. The local intelligence system can collect, record, store the data with all operational conditions and upload to cloud server so customer can check all the data and see all the process of the machine has come through at, at any time. And we also have our central intelligent control system called Optimizer 4.0. It not only can adjust each machine running status in the system, but also it can carry out client system application running uh, logic and the modeling based on its core algorithm and the calculation logic. And to choose the most uh, suitable equipment scenario while the system demand keeps constantly changing. So Optimizer 4.0 is also one excellent monitor in data recording and visualize the system, which can give the best guidance on energy optimization. We thank you, Ray. As we know, this year we have been through the epidemic. So many companies, because of these uh, reasons, to it uh, have to change their company's market change. Could you please introduce what's your company situation now? Do you have changed any new market changes for this year? Yeah, you know, well. Um it is very, still in a very difficult uh, period, uh, especially for the whole world. So in such a pandemic period, 
the market and our clients have changed a lot. Um, so, you know, no doubt everybody in the market, every player, uh, we have to adapt ourselves to survive. Um, so, you know, for some short-term change, um, you know, it's not that long. We just need to adapt ourselves in a very temporary way. But for some short-term, uh, not, not short-term, but long-term change, um, that, uh, and we, we don't see that we'll change back in the short term. Um, we don't have to take very uh, big strategic planning to further align our resources and the structure and, um, and, and, and process to, 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 to adapt according to the change. So for, for example, because of the, um, the change in social activities, fast consuming related industries have been greatly impacted, like daily necessities or medical related industries. They have achieved significant growth during the pandemic and to meet those demand fast, we have pushed our sales channels and production to focus more on these segments. We have a lot of uh, products that were you know, delivered in the past several months to, to, to meet the uh, growing demands from these segments. Like uh, one of our products, which is called the desk blower, it is now helping mask production, uh, which is you know very much essential in current situation. Also, uh, you know, in, in the same time, we encourage our employee to do more and more mobile work. You know, to work at home, right? Um, you know, to use a lot of uh, uh, online, uh, like Microsoft Team tools to communicate with each other you know they, this kind of tools have been there for a long time but that never got used uh, before that current way so now we just uh, can face to face now we just uh, can uh, meet online so we did this activities for you uh, right, right 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 so you know it, it helps a lot in our you know working patients actually and also we, we, we start to use these kind of tools to interact with the customers. So it is changing the behavior of, of our internal working and also external uh, communication with the customers. Um, and more importantly, what we've seen now, um, you know, the um, Chinese industry structure is still keep changing uh, very fast. Um, we shall continuously study and, and explore, put more of our folks on the right place, you know, um, to, rec uh, to reconsider how to develop further and capture more opportunities during the change. Thank you. Yes, as the Ray said, our China industry has uh, uh, rapid development in these years. And uh, there is uh, one more question for you. Would you like to talk about the differences between foreigner and the domestic customer demand? Yes, we know that it's a different. Uh, it's a difference between Chinese customer and uh, overseas customers. So, could you help give us an uh, introduction to how to balance them? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, th there is a very big difference. Uh, between domestic and, uh, and um, external customer or foreign customers that uh, when they're buying a compressor or a, a system. Uh, you know, one of the major differences is that um, foreign customers are more and more looking into buying a whole compressed air system instead of single equipment. You know, what the customer needs is actually compressed air. It's not the compressor. Um, so, you know, Foreign customers focus on more and more each detail, the value of the whole system. Now, um, that you know, the, that the purchase product, you know, that system, every value that it can bring to the uh, to the customer from each single detail, you know, uh, through you know the um, the uh, the system, the, the pipeline design, the layout everything in the in the system you know uh, so that that you know that is not just about the um, the product initial investment cost but also they recognize more um, um, 
and evaluate uh, more dimensions, including sales consultant value, uh, efficient system design and reliability, safety and high quality engineered system installation, and aftermarket service, etc. You know, it, it is all the whole circle that uh, bring all kind of values to the customer finally. Uh, so this is usually more reasonable, and, and I, I think this is the only way that uh, uh, the customer can buy a highly efficient and reliable system. But you know, for domestic market, you know, for the domestic customer, still you know there is a big amount of customers. They value mostly just uh, two or three factors, such as you know a brand, a product model, and the price. So it's very simple. Still, it, it is. Um, you hear a lot from uh, local customers saying that uh, uh, you are making compressor and all selected from the same tier. So you have no big difference with each other. Uh, and the price is the most important for, for us. Then, uh, so we, we got to go to very pure price competition. And, and cost, you know, then comes as, as the top priority. So every player start to look at uh, how to save the cost, actually, finally, you know. So, you know, by doing this, which, you know, usually, it'd be very difficult to, for the customer to buy ideal, optimal system, you know. And then uh, after the installation of the system, they, they will lose much, a lot of the, uh, the values, or, you know, um, the, the reliability, the efficiency that, uh, and an optimum system can, can, can give better performance than, 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 than just think about it, you know, two or three dimensions. So we've seen a lot of, uh, you know, compressed uh, installation that uh, uh, we see there are uh, a great potential for quality and, uh, and, and energy consumption improvement in China. Uh, you know, seeing this pity, uh, uh, last year we took the lead with the uh, local authority GMPI uh, in drafting the guideline for energy efficient classification for compressed air system. You know, which is not only the first in China, but also the first operation standard in, in, in the world. Um, it sets up rules about how to measure and evaluate energy efficiency uh, uh, about the, the, the compressed air system instead of one single machine. So it has milestone significance to the development of, um, of our industry, I think, for, for, for China. Uh, you know, so during this competition, we, we will have a theme forum in, in Area N tomorrow afternoon around the 1 p.m., I think. Uh, so my, my colleague will introduce uh, a topic, which is, you know, the modular primary energy efficiency air compressor station trying to give more reference about how to install the best quality compressor system. Um, so we will welcome all of you to join us at that time. Thank you. Thank you, Roy. I think it's a useful information for our overseas visitors. Thank you for all your introduction. I wish you have a satisfactory harvest in this year's show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.